Eric goes viral in every video. I want you to notice something. These are the tags for his video. He has none. And watch some of his videos. A lot of his shots are out of focus, underexposed, overexposed, and so shaky that it hurts. But none of that matters because he's doing the stuff that does matter right. He's great at storytelling, his edits are very tight and intentional, and he's got great hair. In fact, he's so good that he rolls full-on commercials right in the middle of his videos for his sweatshirts, and you want to watch them because they're hilarious. In fact, here's one now. The only thing that would make Beans look more handsome in this moment would be a mafia hoodie. Breaking Straight Line News, I'm Jeffrey Jeffries. Everything I have, my car, my home, my family, I have given up everything for more mafia hoodies from Eric.shop. Let's go ahead and make one of these in CapCut. First, we need a background. Now, you'll notice that Eric created a news story thing, so he's got a video wall as the background. You don't need a video wall. You can use anything for a background. You'll notice that Eric threw the background way out of focus, so you could just take any other video and put it out of focus in the background. It would look kind of cool. I found this video wall on Storyblocks. I have a paid subscription on Storyblocks, so I can't share this with you, but I am sharing with you all of the other elements I'm using to create this in case you want to duplicate it and try this for yourself. There's a link for the free elements in the description below. The piece we're going to create is, I think, a little over 20 seconds, so I'm going to duplicate this wall since it's only 10 seconds long and it does loop. To duplicate a clip, you hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC. You click and you drag it over, then hey, you've got another copy of it. Next, we're going to blur this background out just like Eric does. To do that, we're going to click on Effects, go to Lens, and scroll down to Blur. And here it is right now. I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it over all of these so I can blur all of them at once. That makes it kind of kind of helpful and easy. And that's 50% blur. That looks pretty good. Now notice we can adjust it for more or less blur, but I think right around 50% works pretty well. Next, we're gonna add the lower third, and a lower third is a term they use in the entertainment industry to refer to the graphics on the bottom third of the screen when you see a name, or in this case, this banner for the news story that we're gonna share. I created this banner here in Photoshop for you to use. We could have kind of created this lower third in CapCut, but it's significantly easier in Photoshop. There is another app if you don't have Photoshop called Photopia, which is a free online image editor, and it could totally do this. It works almost exactly the same as Photoshop, and it's free. So if you wanna create your own version, there you go. Otherwise, you've got mine that you can download. Now I'm just going to click it and drag it for the entire duration of this piece. And it looks, you know, pretty, pretty cool so far, but we are missing the text. So let's head on over to text. They recently changed the text a little bit. Now you just click on add text and you have these options. And under trending, you have the default, just plain old text. We're just gonna click on that and drag it down here and have it last the duration of the cut. And we'll just type in what we want it to say, breaking cap cut news. And we'll highlight it all by hitting Command-A or Control-A on a PC. We're gonna change the color to black by clicking on this color panel here and changing it to black by just dragging that down. And then we're gonna choose a font that we like better. How about Avenir Book? And it's just a simple, readable sans serif font. And sans means without, and serif are those little curly cues. And no curly cues kinda of look better. So no curly cues, sans serif font. We're gonna scale it down a little bit, and then we'll just drag it down to our little graphic and scale it down a little more. Because this text is already black and it's already the right font, we're gonna just duplicate this for the next layer of text by holding down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and clicking and dragging up. And then I'm gonna drag this down so I can see it. And I'm gonna type in the text here by selecting all of it and typing, I bought 5,000 copies of Master Cap Cut. We'll select all of it and scale it down so it fits underneath here. Next, we need a world to spin over here in this lower third graphic. Here's something that you might find pretty helpful when you're looking for things that you can legally use in your video without worrying about getting in trouble. If we jump onto YouTube and we type in spinning earth green screen, we have a bunch of these spinning earths on green screen. And if we click up here in filters and we select Creative Commons, that will show us all of the videos that we are allowed to use in our own videos without getting any special permission. They're like free to put in your videos and usually they just ask that you give them a credit in the description of your video and they'll usually say if they want you to do that. So I found one of these and you'll notice in the description of my video that I gave the guy credit and I've also included it in the downloads for you so you don't have to search for it yourself. Just give them the same credit, just copy the one in mine. And let's jump back into CapCut and go ahead and add that little world 
to our video. It's right here. We're just going to spin past the black section into the green screen section. CapCut has a hard time getting rid of black. I mean, there is a plan B because it's perfectly round. We could actually add a mask and get rid of it, but it's going to be easier to just select a section of this that is green and drag it down to the timeline. To get rid of the green, we click on video here in the top right. We select cut out. We click on chroma key and we click on this little eyedropper here, select the green, then we just drag the slider to the right until the green goes away, and then bam, green's, green's all gone. If you go too far, it'll start to get rid of some of the other speckles here that are a similar green. So you wanna just go just enough so that when it spins, it doesn't look all wonky on you. You can add a little bit of shadow that'll sometimes fill in some of the, the extra green particles lingering, but it's way too big. How do we make it small? We click on basic, we scale it down, and we just put it in the corner where we've just made a perfect little world for it. And now let's play a few seconds of that. We're, we're doing this in CapCut. It's, it's pretty cool, right? You may have noticed in Eric's video, Eric, who's like a young kid, he had some super old dude doing the commercial for him. Well, I found a really old to do this for, for us. Hey, hey, I, I think he'll work. And I, I filmed him already. Let's go ahead and drop him in the timeline. Wow, <laughs> that dude's old. Okay, you'll notice that he's not on a green screen. In fact, I just filmed this in my office. I just cleared out an area so I'd have a white wall. When you are filming and you want to remove the background, just make sure there is nothing behind you. The background's nice and even and evenly lit and no shadows. I put my lights like this. Here's what my office looks like actually with it all taken apart to shoot this. And this should key out really well. We should be able to remove the background really well even though it's not on a green screen. Now, I'm not too worried about this stuff over here because I don't have anything behind me. But to make sure that we can cut me out really well and that CapCut doesn't have any trouble finding the white to get rid of it and it doesn't confuse this other stuff, we just go over to mask, click on this rectangle and drag it up here and down and just see if my hand goes out of frame. I just want to make it big enough so that my hand doesn't go out of the area like that. And we'll just, I'll just scrub through it really quickly and just make sure my hand never breaks the mask. And yeah, that looks good. And that's as long as it is. So now all I need to do is get rid of the background. To do that, I'm just gonna click on video, cut out and choose auto cut out. And it should do okay at this because the background is so plain and simple and contrasty for me. I'm wearing dark, the background's white. And look at this, it did a, it did a pretty good job. What do we notice here? I'm blocking some stuff. So all I need to do is drag myself beneath the banner down here. And now, hey, it's it's like I'm there. I believe Arax news anchor guy was slightly bigger than this. So we're just going to click on me, select video basic and just scale me up a bit and drag me down and over to the this way a little bit so I'm more centered and give myself a tiny bit of headroom. Eric's news video is about his sweatshirt. So he shows the sweatshirt on the screen. He has his sweatshirt coming from this side, but because we have a big empty blank space here, we're gonna have my product coming on the right side. So I'm just going to drag it down to the timeline. And I don't know when I say it, but we'll find out in a second. Um, I'm just going to have it pop on, I don't know, right here for now. So I will just scale this down so it's the appropriate size for this window here. I think it looks pretty good right there. And to have it come in, we have a couple options. I could click on it and I could go to animation and I could choose in and I could have it do something, something kind of funky when it comes in. But this is, this is new, so we want it to be really just kind of gentle and professional, not look too silly, even though I say some pretty silly stuff. I'm curious to see if you guys will find it funny. I kind of kind of copied what Eric's dude did and just made it my own. While we don't want to use one of these crazy animations, we could use slide left, which looks like this. Just click on it. It's applied it. Comes in a little bit fast. We can just have it take a little bit longer to get on by dragging the slider down right here to maybe 0.7. And now we'll play it. That looks great. So let's figure out where this needs to go. I'm just gonna listen for a second and see where I actually say the name of my course. There it is. So it's going to stay on for the rest of the spot. And I use the word spot. When I was editing commercials in Hollywood, we edited commercials or spots, TV spots. So when I say spot, it just means this piece of video that I'm editing right here. Side note while we're hanging out, I was never 
on-camera talent until I went to YouTube. I have done voiceover, but I was never the guy on camera, except for once we were doing a commercial for the Chipmunks and they needed a guy to be a cop and sing that ooh ee ooh ah ah song. So I was on TV for like 0.7 seconds going ooh ee. If you want to see that ever, just post in the comments and I'll put it in one of the videos for fun. We could call it like this. I think it looks great. We're going to do one more thing to give it a little more fun and just kind of push in on me. And to do that, we want to push in on me and the background and probably lose everything else. I found a spot that's going to work. So we're just going to cut these two tracks right here by clicking on this guy because those two are highlighted. It'll only cut them. I'm also going to trim up the back here so everything ends at the same time. I'm going to highlight all of them and go ahead and click on this split button right here and then just get rid of all of them by hitting delete. And now everything ends at the same time. And you should do that with every spot that you edit because you wanna make sure everything ends correctly. What I'm about to show you is really important, so pay attention because you might get confused and not know what to do about it. Sometimes you just have to think outside the box a little bit. Now, what I wanna do is merge these two clips so that I can scale them both up and down together. But if I do that by hitting right click, create compound clip, notice that it also took that blur effect at the same time and also move this junk out of the way. It just created a, it created a big mess. So to fix that problem, what I'm going to do is position my playhead right here and I'm going to cut the blur effect only so I can get rid of it. But I need this to be blurry still. So I'm just gonna go back into effects and select lens and select blur again and drag it onto both of these versions of that video wall. So once when I merge me with this background, I'm not gonna get blurry. So I'm gonna select all of those, right click and choose, create compound clip. And now I don't get blurry and you won't be able to tell that there's a cut there. At this cut is where I wanna push in on me and I wanna get rid of these other layers so you just see my face. So I'm just going to highlight these guys and click on this guy and we're going to just move them over in case we need them again. And I will just push in on me. And to push in, we just click on me, we scale up. And this is also really important, guys. When you scale up, if I just went from this to this, it looks really unprofessional because my eyes are way up here. You wanna make sure whenever you do a jump cut like this that your eyes line up. If I scroll back, I can see that my eyes were right here and I'm going to go forward and just drag me down so that my eyes are at about the same spot. Let's see how that looks. Facebook friends, my children won't see. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do that a couple more times for emphasis. Next, we're just gonna add a couple of tiny finishing touches, add a sound effect when this graphic comes in for the first time. Let's click on audio, jump into sound effects, type in swish. Let's try this guy. Let's find where the graphic came in. It was right here. And we'll jump down here and add that swish by just clicking the plus sign. Of course, pretty good right there. And now we need the very last thing, we need some music. We need some news music. So I'm gonna click on music. I haven't checked yet to see if there's anything that's kind of newsy, but let's try it out. News, news break. That's ah, perfect, man. We're just gonna position the plate at the beginning so it knows where to put it. We're gonna click on this plus sign. It drops the music down here. I can see in the waveform that the music doesn't start right away. I want it to start right away, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Drag this this way. Take the volume down by just dragging this here down to that minus 18 or so, and here we go. Breaking cap cut news. The only thing we need to do now is trim up the music. Now, I could just get rid of all of the music by deleting it here and getting rid of everything after I'm speaking, but I've got a little bit of a joke here, so I'm just gonna, even though it's news, I'm just gonna accentuate the joke a little bit by stopping the music here, and then we'll play it. I, I haven't seen it yet, so let's, I'm excited to watch this and see what came out. Let's go ahead and go full screen. Breaking CapCut news, I'm John Johnson, and I just spent my children's inheritance and maxed out every credit card to buy 5,000 copies of Trevor's course, Master CapCut, for all of my Facebook friends. My children won't speak to me and my dog's upset because I'm eating her food, but how could I not spend everything I have to make sure all of my friends go viral? Dear God. I'm gonna have to start an OnlyFans. If you wanna blow up on YouTube, you probably should click right here and get that course. It's also linked in the description.